Most people don't know how a real estate investor actually gets paid. You know what? Most real estate investors don't even understand all of the ways that they're paid. You know what? Most real estate investing educators can't even tell you all the ways that real estate investors are paid. Well, for the first time, you're going to hear about that today. Hi, my name's Keith Weinhold. I'm the host of the long-running Get Rich Education podcast, so you probably know my voice. I'm also a writer at Forbes, and I'm a writer for the Rich Dad Advisors. Look, stock investors typically only get paid one way if they happen to have a capital gain on their stock. They might get paid a second way if they have a dividend-paying stock. Real estate investors often have five simultaneous profit centers. Let's talk about those. The first one is appreciation. When you put a $20,000 down payment on a $100,000 property and get a 5% interest rate on a 30-year fixed loan, well, your tenant is making those debt payments for you. Now, the appreciation is typically only 6% nationally and historically on real estate, so your $100,000 property might appreciate to $106,000. Well, that doesn't sound very thrilling, right? Wrong. You just got a 30% return and this is one of only five ways you're paid because your 6% gain, that's a gain on both your $20,000 down payment and the $80,000 borrowed from the bank whose payments are serviced by the tenant, that return goes to you as well. So you had a $6,000 gain, but you only have 20K of skin in the game. 6K divided by 20K, that's a 30% rate of return. The second of five ways you're paid is through cash flow. The property's rent income minus all the monthly expenses. Just say that's only $100 in your pocket every month, your cash flow. That's $1,200 a year divided by 20K. That's another 6% return to you. So now you have 30% through leverage appreciation plus a 6% gain from cash flow. We still have three or five ways to discuss. The third way is that you have your tenant paying down your loan for you. With the mortgage I described, that's $1,176 of principal pay down that your tenant makes for you. That's another 6% gain. The fourth way you're paid is through generous tax advantages, and this one gets difficult to measure. This includes things like tax depreciation, which means you don't even owe tax on all of that income that we described in the second way that you're paid. You also have something called a 1031 tax deferred exchange, which means you never have to pay capital gains tax legally on the appreciation of your income property. I've been investing in real estate for 16 years and I've legally never paid capital gains tax, and I probably never will. That can be about another 5% return, although that's really difficult to measure. The fifth and final way that you're paid is through inflation hedging, or really an inflation profiting benefit. This is probably the most stealth and least understood way that you're paid. Look, you wouldn't put a million dollars in the bank for 30 years because inflation would erode its purchasing power. Well, in the same way, if you borrow, say, a million dollars, or in this case, $80,000, to stick with our example, then inflation goes ahead and erodes the weight of that debt. Over time, more and more dollars circulate in an economy, so in 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years, it's going to be easier to pay back that 80K because its weight, its debt, will be diluted just in the same way dollars have their purchasing power diluted. That's about another 4% return to you. The true rate of inflation is massively understated by the government for a lot of reasons. That's a whole separate discussion, but let's add it up. The five ways you're paid as a real estate investor. We've got 30% from leverage appreciation plus 6% from the cash flow. That 6% portion is known as the cash on cash return. The third way is through principal pay down. That's another 6% return. The fourth way is through tax advantages. That's another 5% return. And then the fifth and final way is through inflation hedging, which we call 4%. So when we add all those up, we come up with a 51% total rate of return. Does that sound unbelievable? It doesn't. I've achieved it many times in my life. So go ahead and learn about all the ways that real estate investors are paid. If you want that to slow down or you want to take your time to read or reflect on that, I actually describe this in my new best-selling book, Seven Money Myths That Are Killing Your Wealth Potential. 
I'm not trying to sell you the book. This book is 100% free in the e-version right now at getricheducation.com. So take it from a Forbes writer and someone that's been writing for the Rich Dad Advisors. This is my first ever book. If you also want to know more, you can learn about me every week on the Get Rich Education podcast. But I think it really all starts at getricheducation.com. Download that ebook for free and especially read about that section about the five ways real estate investors are paid. Again, my name Keith Weinhold. Check out GetRichEducation.com. 71% of Americans aren't saving enough for retirement. It's going to get worse as people live longer, and you need to start thinking differently. But you can't lose your time. Real estate is the investment vehicle that's made more ordinary people wealthy than anything else. Keith Weinhold of Get Rich Education is host of one of America's top investing shows, Disrupting Wall Street. He's an international best-selling author, a writer for Rich Dad Advisors, and has been an active income property investor since 2002. He has created thousands in passive monthly income for countless followers, and now he has a free book, The Seven Principles for Creating Wealth in Your Life. Get your copy now at GetRichEducation.com forward slash book. That's GetRichEducation.com forward slash book. Because invest in what produces income for you now and later. Keith Weinhold is your guy. Sign up now at GetRichEducation.com forward slash book.